Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in our last video, we discussed about Python functions, methods, objects, packages, what is the difference between these and where they are used. We also learned that, you know, functions can be majorly categorized into two, right? First one, built-in functions. And the second one are user defined functions. So we also looked at certain built-in functions like type, min, max, average, etc. Right. And if you haven't watched that video, I would suggest go and watch that video because having those basic knowledge that we discussed in that video will help you to make more sense out of this video. Okay. So in this video, we are going to build upon the knowledge from that part particular video and try to see like what are user defined functions how do we define a function call a function how to write a function without arguments how to write a function with arguments you know how to write a function that returns a value then we will be also talking about tuple data types how it's different from a list what is the difference between you know parameters and arguments of a function uh, how to write functions with multiple parameters and single value return, multiple parameters and multiple values return, etc. Right. So let's jump right in. Okay. So to define a function, let's say we want to write a function that can calculate the cube of a number, say four. Right. So we start with the header of the function. So we write the keyword def def. So define name of the function, then parentheses and colon. So this basically defines the name of the function. And then inside that you write the body of the function right now here, the body of the function has only two lines, but you can have multiple lines. It does not matter. The only thing that matters is that ind indentation, right? So it should be properly indented, right? Okay. So let's say if I run this, right? So it seems nothing happens. So actually, even when you define a function, the function actually executes when you call the function, right? So by defining a function, you tell the function that, Hey, cube is a function which basically does the cube of number four, right? Four to the power three and prints the value of the cube, right? Now, once you will call this function, right? So once I will call this function cube and how do we call a function? You just write the name of the function and the parenthesis, right? So if I run this, it will return 64. So four to the power three is 64. And that is how we call the function. Now this function is very specific, right? So this function can only do one thing, calculate the cube of four. But what if we want to generalize this, right? What if we want to write a function that can calculate cube of any number you pass it to? So to do that, we add parameters. So how do we do uh, an add parameter? So let's say we want to write a function to calculate cube of a given number. So here we were calculating cube of number four, but let's say we are, we don't know what the number is yet. We are just trying to write a function that can calculate cube of every, any given number, right? So in that case, if you see again, same thing, we start with the header def name of the function and in the parentheses, you write a variable and this is called a parameter of the function cube, right? You can write any name does not matter at all. So let's say number you want to cube here, if you see there is nothing, right? So there is no parameter of this function cube, but here there is one parameter of this function cube. And then you write cube value is equal to whatever number is provided. You take that and you uh, do the power of three and then print cube value, right? So this is the function definition and this cube two. So basically now I am calling the function cube. Right. So if I run this, it is going to return eight right now. Let's say I want to do, okay, let me, you know, do a cube of another number, say 2.78. Again, I can run this and it is going to return me two to the 2.78 to the power three. Right. So this is how 
by adding arguments you may you can make a function generalized right now a lot of time what happens people get confused about parameters and arguments of a function right so what is the difference between these two actually they are same but there is slight difference so when we define a function like you know when we are defining this function right so define cube and you write the name of the variable inside the parenthesis this variable that number you want to cube right so this thing this thing is called a parameter of the function cube right but now once you have defined the function and you are calling the function so in that case this is called the argument of the function q right so very similar stuff just a small difference so when we are defining the function we are writing parameters of the function but when we are calling that function we are passing arguments right now let's talk about another concept right so let's suppose from the above function we want to assign the value after we cube a number to a variable and use it further in our code for example right so we define this cube function right and where we can calculate the cube of any given number so let's say we are we want to calculate the cube of 3 right so cube of 3 uh and like a cube of 3 i am calling the function cube of 3 so it will calculate the cube of 3 right and if i write a is equal to and try to assign this value to a variable called a and then let's say i want to do the two times of a let's say let's see what happens when i run this so you see this is an error why this is happening because if you don't return anything from a functions it automatically returns null type right so even if you have written the code like you know this so we have written this right so if you match this with this so this is exactly same as this thing right so even though we have written it like this in reality the code is do those three lines plus return none which is kind of hidden so that is what this error is unsupported operand type for multiplication int and none type so from our previous videos we know that certain arithmetic functions require that the both the uh, variables or both the values are of certain data types here what we are trying to do is we are trying to multiply an integer with a none type data type right which is not supported so what do we do to make this right right so instead of just printing the values to take care of the issue what we can do is we can write return statements in a function so again same stuff you define the function name of the function the parameter you cal you do the calculation whatever you want to do and then you return that right now once i you know now once i run this right now and once i run this and now do the same exact thing like call the function calculate the cube of 3 assign it to variable a and then do the twice of a then i it will return me 54 no issues there and a is basically 27 right so now this value is being assigned to a right okay now up till now we looked at a function with one parameter and one value return now what if we need multiple parameters to be returned right so for example here we this function what it can do it can only calculate cube of any given number you want but what if i want to generalize it even more that is we are given a number two numbers and we just want to raise the power so maybe we want to calculate 2 to the power 4 or maybe we want to calculate 10 to the power 2 it does not matter so e even more generalized is you know by passing multiple parameters to a function so again same thing define the function name of the function here is power and now here we have two different parameters we are defining a function so we have parameters not arguments and then 
for using these parameters you calculate number one to the power of number two and you return that this function power has two parameters number one and number two when you are calling the function you also need to provide two arguments so while defining the function whatever number of parameters you have used while calling the function you will have to pass same number of parameters right so number of arguments passed while calling the function should be equal to the number of parameters while defining a function right so let me run this right so once i run this and let's say here i call the function even though this power function has two parameters let's say i only pass one argument to power right and let's see what it gives it says power function is missing one required positional argument number two so you see you cannot do this let's pass it with two arguments right so two and three that is i want to do two to the power of three right so i run this it gives two to the power of three is eight no problem there Another thing that you need to keep in mind is the order you pass the arguments is the order in which they are assigned to the parameters. So when I, you know, uh, pass two power two comma three, so two is being assigned to number one and three is being assigned to number two. If I reverse it, right? If I do power of three to and two. then it will be 3 to the power of 2 that is 3 square that is 9 so here 3 is number 1 and 2 is number 2 so it is important okay we looked at a function with multiple parameters and single values what if we want to return a more generalized form of function that is a function with multiple parameters and multiple values return so let's de define a function power right number 1 and number 2 two, two parameters the first thing is we are what we are doing is we are raising number 1 to the power of number 2 and second thing we are doing is we are raising number 2 to the power of number 1 right and then let's return both these values right so return value 1 comma value 2 right so this is definition of the function and then what i am doing is i am calling the function power with arguments 2 and 3 so two arguments and two parameters so it it is okay and then the value which i am being returned from this function right is stored or is assigned to this variable called a right so when i run this function the values are now in a and when i see what is a so it is 8 and 9 so 8 is 2 to the power of 3 and 9 is 3 to the power of 2 now one thing which is very interesting here is like let's use the built in function type to see what is this right so parentheses 8 comma 9 so if i run this it is a tuple so the data type of this a or this object is tuple right so what are tuples tuple are very similar to list but the only difference between list and tuple is that tuples are immutable that is once you assign certain values to tuples the values cannot be changed right and you create list using square brackets but to create a tuple you need to use parentheses right so for example let's create a list and a tuple with same values inside so we create list using square brackets and we create tuples using parentheses right so let me run this now since lis is a list and i want to change the first value that is uh, the first index right 1 to 5 right so if i do this list at index 0 is equal to 5 and then i see what is the list it is now 5 3 and data let's try to do the same thing for tuples right again i want to change this to 5 right and if i run this it says tuple object does not support item assignment why because tuples are immutable once you have defined a tuple you cannot change it right so that is very important okay so i hope this video was useful 
in the next video we will be even learning more advanced concepts of these user defined functions that what if you don't know so in these cases whatever we are defining the functions we know that yes we need to have two parameters but what if we don't know how many parameters are there so how to use variable number of par parameters also how we, we can define functions with some default values that is every time you need to you know call a function you don't need to pass each and every variable right so how can we do that because they really help a data scientist a lot in their day-to-day -day activities let me know guys if this video was useful and if you want and if you feel this uh, content is valuable valuable you can you know subscribe it share it etc and until then i will see you guys in the next video